guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock. It's time for another video. Uh, it's nine o'clock on a Wednesday. It's actually time for Hidden Gems. Now, Hidden Gems is one of my favorite video series of Magic TV. And the reason is it allows me to bring to you a trick that I think went under the radar from years ago, decades ago, that you might not know. I think this is a really important video, a really important series on the channel, because honestly, new people that get into magic, they don't know about all the tricks that came out a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Because as an industry, we don't talk about those tricks. We talk about the older tricks, the, the newer tricks, and the latest thing that's coming out. Not about the stuff that came out five, ten years ago. And what we do on this video, what we do on this video series, is I talk about some tricks that have gone from years ago that you might not be aware of. And today, I'm going to be talking about Rick Lax. Now, here's the thing. I'm not big Rick Lax's biggest fan recently. I put him on the uh, on the hate part of my hate love list recently. And the reason is, I think he's a bit of a tool. I think that he, he exposes a lot of magic needlessly. And I think he doesn't really care about magic. However, we can't take his accomplishments away from him. And the simple fact is, his time at Penguin Magic, he created and produced and released so much amazing magic. I've talked about Tornado on this channel before, one of my favorite tricks of all time. Um, and a lot of stuff that he brings out is really super commercial. And this is no exception. This is called A Card That Matters by Rick Lax. Now I'm gonna let you see a performance of this before I do anything else. Let's have a look at A Card That Matters by Rick Lax. Uh, so I've got an envelope here, Sarah. Okay. Inside the envelope, I have a poker hand. Now, I know you don't play poker, but a poker hand contains five cards, right? Yes. I will tell you that one of the cards in that poker hand has been turned over. Okay. And you are going to name a card. And right. you are going to name the card that I've turned over in that poker hand. Now, when you think about that, that is almost impossible. And I've done this to many, many people, and nobody has even come close. But I know that you're going to come as close as anyone can get, Sarah. I know that. So I'm going to snap my fingers when I do. What I'd like you to do is name any card in the pack, any one of the 52. Uh, do that right now. Queen of Hearts. Do you want to change your mind? Are you happy? No, that's fine. Now, do you remember I said that I had five cards and it was a poker hand? And do you remember I said that there was one card turned over? Look, there it is, the Queen of Hearts. Oh yeah. I told you there was one card turned over. You named any card, and it's the Queen of Hearts. But I, I, just so you know that I knew without a shadow of a doubt that you would pick the Queen of Hearts, I made it so that that one is the only one with a red back. Okay, so what is a card that matters? Well, you just saw the performance, right? It's basically, in essence, a brainwave built into an envelope. Now, you know what? I've done Brainwave. I've done Invisible Deck for years, and I love it, and there's no problem with it at all. The Brainwave deck is a perennial classic. So is the Invisible deck. However, you do occasionally get magicians saying, oh, what happens if somebody thinks that you've just turned the card over, or whatever the case may be? The really nice thing about a card that matters is that you're apparently just taking a small packet of cards out of an envelope that's on the table. And what Rick has done is through a clever use of routining and gimmicks and wordplay and a little bit of sleight of hand, he's been able to, in essence, have you pick any card and show that that card was the only one reversed in a small packet of cards on the table. Um, I mean, how strong is that? Really, when you think about it, actually think about this for a minute. This is really strong. I'm, I'm not going to say it's stronger than the Invisible Deck or the Brainwave Deck because, you know, the, the, I could very easily argue that it is, but I could very easily argue that it's not. However, all I can tell you is I, this takes up no space. You just put it in your top pocket and you're ready to go. I've performed the card that matters probably at this point about three or four hundred times and the reactions it gets are always really really strong and i think compared to a lot of other rick lack stuff this flew under the radar and i think this is because this is one of the routines that came out after he started dicking around the magic community and so maybe less people were inclined to buy it but the bottom line is this is a really strong way. I mean, let's be honest. The holy grail for card magicians is that you have a card, you put it down on the table, you have someone name a card, you turn that card over, and that's the card. That's the holy grail. This is very, very close to that holy grail. It's not completely there because the card's in the envelope. There's a couple of other cards in there as well. You know, it's not there 100%. Absolutely. I'm not saying it is. But 
But this is a really, really, really strong way of doing that particular style of routine. And it's why I would recommend everybody picks it up. Now you can get it from Penguin Magic. It's available from Penguin Magic. You just look for the card that matters by Rick Lax. And the tutorial's great. It's very easy to learn the routine. There's very little sleight of hand. It allows you to focus on presentation. And from personal experience, I can tell you that if you take this out into the real world, people will really enjoy it. It's very strong and it's very commercial. So there you go, guys. That's another Hidden Gems in the bag. Do me a favour. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video, so you want to look out for that. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please join The Netrix. It's www.thenetrix.com. Go and check it out. See what all the fuss is about. Go and check out the server as well, the Discord server that's attached to The Netrix. It's brilliant. I'll see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV.